happy win for the seniors today. Just really proud of uh, our ability to come together and get the W for them. Coach, uh, overall, when you look at the way that Drex plays, and how well do you guys handle that? How, what was your approach going into crunch time as far as how you guys were able to come out with it? Yeah, I mean, even a little bit before that, uh, in the start of the second half, we were trying to move the ball a little bit more and attack because they were really good on, on first pass and they they shift and overcompensate and, and, and with their amoeba zone that they do very well. So, you know, we needed needed to get it inside, inside out, and just really and push the tempo. That was something that they all spoke about. At halftime, we knew we didn't get, and even if we weren't scoring in transition, but at least pushing it up so the defense doesn't have as much time to set. So. I was really proud of that um, approach and that attack, and then we were able to press a little bit more with the full court press, you know, spot it. But um, you know, it, it's tough. They always make it tough. They, I've been proud this year. I said in the last game that I could actually play some, some bigs. You know, they really, in the past, of all 12 years of going against them, if not more, it feels like that. You know, they really demise your bigs because they can, they move so well that motion offense and cause you know put these guys in these positions that. Um, that they're not used to playing in, so I've been really proud of how we've been able to, to go against them. Coach, can you talk about your defense? The man-to-man -man, uh, seemed to be working a lot, especially in the first half. What were we doing defensively to really shut them down? Yeah, that's what I was saying. We, we, um, you know, maybe I didn't talk about it too, but we, you know, we got to the point where we were switching. You know, we, um, all the plays that we've gone over, these guys really executed. I mean, they tried several things that they have, you know, hurt us in the past, and you can see us like calling the switch at the right time to stop that first shot. And then somebody there to stop the slip. I mean, it, that was that was like clockwork. They did a phenomenal job with that. I, you know, we all those have been around for four years. Probably can map up Drexel's plays even more than our own sometimes. So we know. And then they isolate. They throw a couple little gimme zones where they're isolating. They, try, they went right at AO to start the second half. First four plays, five plays, and we're standing, trying to get her to draw a foul. I was panicking there for a minute. AO was doing a good job. You know, just trying to put her in a position that maybe a hand goes on there, and then. You know, they know how valuable she is to our success, and obviously she was a real key to our success time. So they, they make it tough. It's like a chess match. It's always fun going against them. As a coach, you, you love these kind of games because it is a lot of strategy. So it's all these, these are these are fun games. But I'm, I'm good friends with Denise, and she does a phenomenal job, and it's fun. Uh, it's fun going against it's fun going against her when we're winning. <laughs> sure, she would say the same thing when, when they're winning. <laughs> as long as um, you wanted to get inside the other play, you still did very well beyond the, like that perimeter as well. You have a, lot, a couple of key uh, three pointers as well as Kelly Lapis. How big is that as far as like you're diversifying the way you can get it down low? Yeah. And then it will be consistent uh, beyond that. Well, that's what we even said. We said just getting it down low didn't mean you have to force it in when all right. four people dump on her. It was just get it in there so you can get it back out. And you, you know, I made that statement before the game to radio about you know Kelly was in for 10 in the last game and she'd been out for four or five games. I didn't say one word to her as I keep shooting it because then I knew you know you make one or two of those you won a ball game and you guys know that would have been the difference in Delaware. You make she makes the two three you know so it's, it's, it's sometimes when you do everything right like we did on the defensive end on rebounding again two games in a row we got to the free throw line um, didn't have as many assists as a team as we wanted but you know that someone just you know, got, you know gets their feet underneath them gets their game you know rhythm back and you know she hit she hit two two important ones. Coach, I know you didn't seem too happy with the way the officials were calling the game on the sideline. I know uh, Coach Dillon definitely was not happy, but I want to ask Anna and Alo, what did you guys think of the uh, official calling? Because I know it was a very tight game. Um, <clears throat> well, you know what, Coach? Coach, 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 by this, you know, by this late in the season, by this game, we just learned to deal with the adjust. I mean, yeah, the adjust. It's it's kind of difficult um, after so long, so long with certain rules, and then all of a sudden they change it, and the refs just try to enforce it, um, just every time, and it makes it hard because you, you know, you kind of question what, you know, when you want to play defense or when you're supposed to, like, you know, sag off or. So as a player, it's difficult, but we adjusted, and you know, we just can't let it get to us. And you know, down the stretch, it was kind of. It almost played a part in it, but you know, we huddled up and made sure that we stayed focused and everybody was talking to each other and just keeping each other up. So as long as we continue to do that then down the line, you know, into the tournament, then we'll have success. Um, it's, uh, it's been four years here uh, playing on the Mac. How does it feel and how do you feel like you've evolved and now you being the captain, how big is it? And uh, just describe your experience. Um, I changed it. Um, it was a growing experience. From my freshman year to now, so many things have have changed. 
I've seen it myself when I'm sure Coach can attest to it. But um, I definitely am thankful and I'm blessed that I have had this experience because I needed it, you know. I need to propel me into my future. And I thank everyone, my teammates, my coaches, um, people like the fans, you know, me, you guys, you guys like, coming on the trips and everything like that. Mm -hmm. I, I have nothing but good memories that I could talk about for days, but <laughs> it's been a good experience though, and you know, I just, I'm thankful. I will interrupt her because I was bragging her before the game and she kept trying to cut me off, cut me off, cut me off, because that's just not one of those strong points to talk about how much she has evolved and putting her in a spot where um, she's uncomfortable, you know, and, and she can she can lead and be a great example all the time, but uncomfortable maybe taking a role, taking it out of her personality, make her be a different person if she has to be the disciplinary, if she has to get on people like she did all year. I watched her get on to freshmen and told them to stop looking like that in practice. I, she's like, Coach, one day I got it. I mean, literally, and just went on to a freshman that was not responding appropriately. I'm like, okay, this is nice. So, you know, a lot of folks don't see that part of her. You always want more, want more, want more, but, you know, you, you take what you get. And I've had a lot of great leaders, and I've told her this. I was like, yeah, you know, she can't look back. We can't sit there and felt like we felt in, in other years where, like, man, who would have, should have, could have, because she actually did try. She actually did say the things in the locker room. She actually did do those things. It takes, and it takes time, and it takes time. And when you got a young crew, but I can, I can go on record that she did those things. Um, where sometimes people were afraid to do those things, and that's kind of the biggest qualm that we have right now in coaching is that people just want to be liked, or they just want to say. Okay, we got it. Next thing, and, and so that part, I, I'm, I'm proud of her. You know, and that's just basketball stuff. I could ramble about all this about her and Annie and McKenzie, about their their growth and their loyalty and how they worked hard and how they use sports. They might not have gotten what they wanted right away, where most kids want it instantly. They stuck through it, and they probably couldn't imagine where they started and where they are now. And if that's not a true test to to them and his people and who they are, so and I'll be saying that. <laughs> She's kind of getting shot a little bit. But, uh, but yeah, I'm just really proud of all my seniors and what they mean to me personally and um, and how they've made this year extremely special. And, uh, you know, we're not marked by our wins and losses. We know what kind of people we are. We're developing here, and they've been a huge part of this development this year. They've set the tone of what you're supposed to say in the locker room, how you're supposed to act to people that are going to follow, like this one, because she's not afraid to speak. She's not afraid to tell people from right from wrong. And if people aren't flying right, she's going to get them on the right path. Coach, you said goodbye uh, this afternoon, but it's not goodbye yet. You still have one more conference game, and another game, then the conference tournament. Are we getting, you know, what are the emotions getting ready for the conference tournament coming up? I mean, it, you know, certainly it would be nice to be where we are. We'd be right at, you know, where we need to be, 14 and 14 would like to be a little higher than that, but we'd be right at sitting there or be, you know, 8 and 8 in conference. So you, you are what you are, you know, we'll fall, see where our seed will fall down. And, um, but we, we know in our heart that this is the way the league is this year. Everybody's just battling, you know, uh, right now to get a great seat and be playing in that Sunday game and then give it your best shot. And we, you know, this is one year everybody in the room can be, yep, you know, you play well on that weekend. I know these guys will get everybody ready. You know, Crystal is someone that uh, AO kind of leans to, too. She's played international basketball. She know what, and, and you played, you know what it is to, so we got two freshmen that actually understand what it is going into some other place in a different venue. And, and, and then what that's going to feel like. So you're going to have actually two freshmen that are going to be able to help the seniors because me and Crystal were talking the other day, she's been throwing tomatoes at in certain places in Mexico. She's, that's Mexico. But she's been throwing stuff in all kinds of places she's been to play since she's been like 11 years old. So that type of mentality and mindset prepares you for the level of play that's going to happen. You know, you were in pool play, now you're one and done. So a lot of folks, again, played, played in that kind of competition you guys been in for four years. So they do have a lot of people they can grab with because we can just be ready to play. And you play, you know, three great straight days of uh, conference basketball and you're, you know, you're going home with a trophy. And, you know, it didn't matter what that looks like right now. So you'll be feeling pretty good about yourself. Anything else? Thank you.